Have you ever plugged a bunch of stuff into your USB ports and then wondered why some of the stuff works, some of the stuff doesn't, or you have to unplug some stuff to make other stuff work? Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to map out your USB ports to optimize how everything is connected so that this isn't an issue. Just like with anything else, USB ports have limits. A lot of the times people just don't know that, so they plug everything in and they expect everything to work and are surprised when things don't. Oh no! And depending on the quality of the motherboard that you have, you might have multiple controllers on board where you can balance everything out and not even know it. So a program called USB Tree View exists that helps you map this stuff out. But it's kind of a daunting program when you look at it, so I'm gonna help you guys decipher how to use it and that way you could optimize your USB configuration. So we downloaded a program called USB Tree View, and this is what it looks like. And when I say it looks daunting, this is what I mean. Like there's lots of information on the screen and all sorts of stuff. And uh, well, when we launched it, it's supposed to show you how many USB controllers that you have. And there's the problem. We only see one controller. That means that everything connected to the computer, USB mice, headsets, webcams, capture cards, anything that uses a lot of bandwidth and all that sort of stuff, is all running through one controller, which means things aren't going to work right when you want all of those things working at the same time. Now, obviously having one controller is bad, but there are ways to fix that, and that's by adding additional ports with the PCIe card. So we ordered this from Amazon. It looks like it has two controllers on it. This is about 20 bucks, and it has additional USB type A's and a couple of type C ports. So we'll be able to possibly plug some USB hubs into those ports and get additional bandwidth for our cameras and capture cards and other high bandwidth devices like that. So uh, let's go ahead and throw it into that computer over there. So a lot of people have USB hubs like this and no, it does not give you infinite ports to keep adding hubs. You'll run out of bandwidth or power or both. So what we've done after unplugging everything is we're going to see where things map. So with the USB tree view live, I can just plug this one in and this is to another hub and if I go and plug this one in and it's USB 3.0, let's put it on a 3.0 port. We'll put it down like that. And then we can go over to USB tree view and this is what it does. And that's basically what you have to do. Know what you're plugging in. So if you have a camera, plug that in and know that that's the camera. Know which port belongs to which controller. And then in order to do that, you plug it into the USB port. You watch USB tree view. You see which controller it pops up under and that's how you balance everything out. USB tree view can be a daunting application at first glance, but once you understand how it looks and how you use it and all that, and then understand how you wanna balance your, your connections, your USB stuff out and all that, it becomes a really useful utility. 